In football, you might hear the expression said a lot, ref, I got the ball, okay? So sometimes players believe that just because they get a touch on the ball means that it's automatically not a foul when they slide tackle. I can tell you that that is not the case. Oh, a strong challenge from Emerson. Referee didn't like it. And the first yellow card of the game. He clearly gets the ball, but maybe in the follow through, it's, it's deemed too forceful. When it comes to whether a slide tackle is given as a foul or not, it's going to come down to the referee's decision based on before the slide tackle takes place, during the slide tackle and after. So when we talk about before, we might be talking about the proximity of the tackle. So if you are miles away, if you are a good few feet away from the attacker, that you're, the player that you're trying to tackle and you're lunging in, you're diving in with two feet off the ground, this is something that a referee might see as being excessive, okay? And when you've got all of that force and your whole body off the ground, it's probably deemed in the referee's eyes as careless, okay? So that's normally when you might get pulled up for a slide tackle, if the force is excessive. We also see referees pull players up for slide tackles if they come from behind the player with the ball. So let's go through some examples now. Now this is quite rare because in my opinion, if I was standing up a defender, sorry, a player with the ball and they were running at me, there's really no need for me to dive in here. You know, if you watch my video on the three P's of how to defend a 1v1, there's no mention of you diving or going to ground. It's all about the, the patience, the positioning and the pressure, but staying on your feet. Now, if this is a loose ball on the pitch and I can see he's going to try and get it and I need to try and get it, this is where we might slide in. So for obvious reasons, if I dive in with my foot, I'm gonna to get to the ball quicker than if I was to run to it, okay? Because I'll be able to stretch out my leg and get a little touch. Now again, why would we need to do this? It might be if we're in the penalty area and that player is potentially gonna get a shot off. If the player is about to get a shot off in front of goal, we need to do whatever it takes to stop them from doing that. That's when we might dive in and try and stop the shot. If I'm gonna to slide to try and get this ball, okay? First of all, I'm not gonna go with two feet. If I go with two feet, that's probably gonna end up in a red card. Maybe the referee would deem that as really excessive. So first things first, I'm gonna go with one foot. Okay, now I'm gonna try not to jump off the ground too much because as soon as I jump off the ground and come in with that one foot, almost like it's some kind of karate kick, that's when the referee's gonna look at that and it's gonna look bad and he's gonna say, or she is gonna say, that is excessive force. As soon as you come off the ground and you leap in, you're out of control, Anyone, anything could happen, legs could get broken. So what we wanna maybe try and do is the ball is there to be won. We kind of slide on our weaker foot. So whichever foot you wanna to use to try and win the ball, the, op the opposite foot, we wanna kind of slide on it. So we're kind of gonna go like that. We're gonna slide down and we're gonna make it look like we are in control a bit more by having part of our body on the ground. And then we're gonna try and nick the ball away. What we're not going to do is we're not going to jump in showing a lot of our studs like that, okay? We're going to try and go down on our non-contact leg and we're just going to try and get the ball away, okay? If you do that, go down on the ground and slide a bit more, it's not as dangerous as if you are to leap in with your whole body off the ground. So that's a slide tackle in a face-to-face -face situation. Now we're gonna talk about another very, very common scenario where you would want to leave the ground and slide and leap into some kind of challenge, okay? And that would often be the case when you're covering a player that might be running towards the byline, like Adam's about to, and he's obviously about to cross. If he's about to cross that ball, there is no way I can just by running come in and block it, okay? So this is the situation where I am gonna fling my whole body off the ground. So I'm not going to challenge him. I'm going into the air, basically. I'm going into the space. So I'm not gonna, it's not of danger to him, okay? But I'm gonna fling my body to try and block the cross. So we're going to show you a couple of examples of this. Now, if I was going to coach you how to do this, to be honest, there's no real 
right or wrong technique. All I want you to try and do as a player is extend your leg as much as you can to give yourself the biggest opportunity to block his cross. Ready? Off you go. Okay, so you can see I managed to stop the cross. It got through me, but it didn't, it, you know, I stopped the momentum of the cross. Goalkeeper probably should have been able to come and sweep that up. This next example is a very common one. It's when a player is chasing the opposition player with the ball. They might be slightly behind them. And that's generally why they slide is because they can't get up to speed with the player to maybe get a foot in. So obviously by sliding, they're giving themselves that extra yard or two to try and wrap their leg around the ball. You're my man and I'm covering back and I've got to try and prevent you from taking that shot. So I'm approaching you from a sort of on the side, but coming from this kind of angle behind you, okay? I've got no choice. It goes back to this, this uh, example of a desperate situation. Again, again, if it's a desperate situation, someone's potentially gonna score, you've got to do what you've got to do. You've got to maybe give yourself that advantage of sliding and extending your leg. As he's about to close the ball down and take the shot, I've got to come in and I've got to sweep my leg around. There, okay? So again, I've come down, as you can see, on my non-contact leg. As I've come down, I've got my body on the ground and I've just swept, we call it like a sweep, I've swept my right leg around the, the player to try and nick the ball away, okay? We're gonna show it to you one more time. I'm slightly behind. Okay, so I've won the ball there. As you can see, my body is actually facing back towards this way. If it was a really good outcome, I could get up quick Adam's momentum went that way. I could run to get this ball. And now my team are going back towards the way we want to face. Okay. Now, as you can see, making that kind of challenge in the penalty area, high risk, high reward. If I, if I make a foul there, I'm, I'm obviously red card as well as the last man. What I want you to take away from this video is that you should not slide if you don't have to. And you're going to get players that are going to say to you, a lot of, like I said, a lot of the young players I coach, they say, are we allowed to slide before the game's even started? And I say to them, why are you asking me if you're allowed to slide? We, you, you shouldn't have to slide. You shouldn't want to slide. We only slide tackling football if we absolutely have to. So that's my piece on slide tackling. I hope it gives you an idea of how to actually slide tackle. Okay. And what we'll do is we will make a link at the end of this video to the three P's of how to defend the 1v1 because ideally that is where you want to get to that situation before you have to slide, okay? Right guys, thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done and I will see you again for another video. Take care.